Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at percentages. First we'll look at what is a percentage. A percentage is a fraction that has a denominator equal to 100. Percent means for every 100 and is denoted by the percent sign. For example, 50% is equal to 50 divided by 100 or 50 hundredths. Let's take a look at this example. Change these fractions to percentages. The first question is 3 fifths. Essentially what we want to do is we want to have 100 as the denominator of our equivalent fraction. We need to ask ourselves, what do we need to multiply to 5 to make it become 100? We need to multiply 20. If we multiply 20 to the denominator, we also need to multiply 20 to the numerator so to not change the fraction. 3 multiplied by 20 gives us 60. So we first have 60% as our answer. Fantastic, let's take a look at the next question. 1 divided by 8. Same thing, we need to have 100 as the denominator of our new fraction. We need to ask ourselves, what do we need to multiply to 8 to become 100? This one's quite tricky, we need to multiply by 12.5. If we do it to the denominator, we also need to do it to the numerator. 1 multiplied by 12.5 gives us 12.5. 12.5 divided by 100 is the same as 12.5%. Here's our next example. Change these decimals to percentages. The first one is 0 0.20. 0 0.20 is actually already a fraction, but it has 1 on the denominator. We want to change this to 100, so we need to multiply by 100. If we do it to the denominator, we also need to do it to the numerator. 0 0.20 multiplied by 100. Essentially, we're moving the decimal position two times to the right, so we have 20. 20 divided by 100 gives us 20%. From now on, we don't need to write that working out. We simply need to multiply the numerator by 100. So the next one is 0 0.055 multiplied by 100. That gives us 5.5%. You can see this by moving the decimal positions two places. For our next one, we have 1.7. We're going to multiply that by 100 which gives us 170%. Here's our final example. In a 600 milliliter mixture, there is 240 milliliters of chemical X. What percentage of this mixture is chemical X? To find this percentage, we need to look at the amount of chemical X divided by the total amount of mixture. Okay, so the amount of chemical X in the question is 240, and the amount of mixture is 600. Take a look at this fraction. We want to have an equivalent fraction which has 100 as the denominator. So what do we need to do? To get 600 to become 100, we need to divide by 6. Also do it to the numerator so we can find out what our percentage is equal to. 240 divided by 6 gives us 40 and 40 divided by 100 gives us 40%.